you surprised a lot of people what you said after the game on, on uh, after game two that you are taking responsibility for it and sort of stuff? Everyone thought it was a bit harsh, and you sort of come to terms with that a bit more then? Oh yeah, I've moved on definitely. Um, I'm looking forward to Origin 3 and what's happened previously in the series is disappointing but I've moved on from that and um, I think it just sort of summed up how harsh I am uh, on myself as a player but yeah, I probably won't be uh, making it vocal anymore because it seemed to have caused a bit of an uproar. Mel, yeah, but, yeah, but Mel admired you being tough on yourself. He said that shows the quality of the guy. You're not running away from really. He gave you a rap because of the, what you said about that. You know, if you, and, for that very reason, that's why you'll be part of the team for years to come. Yeah, he said a lot of nice things and um, I wasn't looking for any sympathy after mm. the game. I was just giving an honest opinion on how I thought everything unfolded and, you know, as I said, it, it caused a lot of uh, media attention and that wasn't what I was after. I just was giving an honest opinion so, you know, maybe I might stick away from the honesty thing for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see this as being a bit of a transitioning of the team, Charlie, in terms of your role, at least starting to see uh, a new sort of I think over the past two seasons we've seen uh, some young players come to the squad but um, I think the core group of players that have been around for a long period of time in this side will be here for at least another three years. I think although the result didn't go our way this year, this side will be back bigger and stronger next year and I think they'll be out to prove a point and I hope to be alongside them when they are out there doing that. Obviously Cooper's, you know, he's come back from a broken arm. You're spending time at half back just in case, you know, because even JT just said it then. You never know, it could happen again. So you're going to be maybe a bit more time than after. Yeah, yeah, I'll be uh, making sure that I uh, swap in with Coops and also with JT. I'll be making sure that we cover all bases, and uh, that is my role to cover all bases. So uh, I've been enjoying the week and looking forward to it uh, even more so as it gets closer to the game. Taylor, last camp was so, it would have been really stressful for you, you know, the injury and then having to, to fill that spot. For yeah, I um, I have a lot more of a um, uh, I have what's the word uh, I, I'm a, I'm a lot more um, worried about myself this camp. Um, to be honest, I was worrying a lot about what everyone else was thinking, and um, I, fe I felt as though I possibly could have been a distraction to everyone else in camp. So this time, um, you know, there is a weight off my shoulders, and I feel as though that. Um, both with my role and everyone else's injuries, uh, not a concern this camp that we'll be able to prepare and go out there and uh, give 100% again. Do you feel the difference with everyone else, uh, you know, having such a lot of key players back and Parker as well as Crumb Do you feel that there's a totally different vibe here? Yeah, I feel there's a good vibe this camp. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, almost a full strength side and uh, I think that's a big uh, important thing going into this game is that everyone's fit and healthy and we have that luxury this time so I think that could be a big benefit for us going into the game. Did you learn from so just what you said before about learning from that experience like you, you, you would have processed that but okay you, you learn from that the way you approached it this time around you've already implemented it from plan. Yeah, well, uh, every camp I'm like, like I tried to take something out of this. Um, you know, last camp um, was a, was great in regards to the preparation, and although not ideal, um, I think still think that this team did a really good job leading into game two. Um, this time round, I feel as though we're in better shape leading into the game, and um, I think with uh, as I said, uh, everyone's injuries under under control. I think um, it'll it'll go a long way to helping us win the game next Wednesday. We've got guys that talk a lot about this. Want to play football this game and not get caught up in the deal, not hoping the, the refs get a little bit, a little bit more uh, leniency with the 10 metre rule and stuff. That help you come to the bench if you're using the, the back row like you've been used a couple of times before as a sort of a floating sort of play? Uh, I think we just have to control uh, what's in our hands, which is how we play the game. Um, We'll, we'll just make sure that we train as hard as we can and give ourselves every chance out there next Wednesday night. And uh, you know we can't go into the game worrying about uh, what, what could possibly happen out in the game in regards to how it's refed and what niggles involved. You know we'll just control what we can, and that's uh, playing hard football. Did it surprise you last time? I thought you were targeted straight up. No, it didn't surprise me. <laughs> and you, had, you only had one session at the halfback, and you, know, you had a pretty badly damaged knee. Considering how you perform, surely. You You've got to get time for a bit of a wrap there, aren't you? I reckon, Mel, like you were saying, you did exceptionally well, considering you built up your hand and the amount of pressure in there and down there in their backyard. Oh, 
Yeah. I'd have got nothing to say yeah. on that, yeah. Well, you see the paper saying something about, you know, eight clubs chasing and stuff like that, just, it's, this is part of the, your life at the moment, isn't it? You, you, you handle that. But apparently eight clubs are, are, are seeking your signature when you do primary move on, maybe? Is that... It's just part of the process of uh, being off contract. There's nothing I can do to stop it. Um, you know, it's it's gonna it's gonna speculate more and more um, until I resign or don't resign. So um, I'm not concerned at all by the media speculation. Um, I'm happy to roll with this process, and you know, I look forward to making a decision when the time is right. And right now, that time's not right to make a decision. Right. And it's, so some guys, obviously, you always hear about some places would. You're, that's in the back of their mind, they like to get things done, but you, you're, you're, you're a character who just handles that by the sounds of quite easily. Yeah, I think um, if I continue to play some good football at Manly that my contract will look after itself and it might sound like a cliche but it's the honest truth. If you play good football then there'll be no concerns about where you could possibly end up or not end up. So, you know, I'm comfortable at where I'm at at the moment and as long as I progress as a footy player then, you know, um, I don't think I'll have too much trouble deciding my future. <laughs> That's Josh's opinion. <laughs> Thanks, folks.